Hi guys, welcome back to another progress vlog. So I'm going to be continuing making some Squid Game characters. Originally, I was going to make just the player ones next since I have like three spots right there. And I was considering making three of the more popular characters, Ali, the Crane protagonist, and that 067 girl. But I want to make this one right here because she is very simple to make and she's like a robot. So I'm going to go ahead and try to make that and then probably some player characters after that as well. Here are the colors. I got white. This is Amethyst from I Love This Yarn. This is Desert Glade from I Love This Yarn, Crafter Secret Yellow, Magnolia Way Skin, and Black. But yeah, very simple colors. Let's go ahead and get to the video. Here is the first update of the doll girl. I think we all know how this is gonna look like already because it's very simple. Starting off with her dress in desert glaze. Her shoes are black. She wears socks. Hopefully you can see it. It's white. And followed by her skin. I gave her white panties. <laughs> Just like the generic kind of underwears. And I'm currently watching the vampire dies in no time. <laughs> Since it's October and I wanted something spooky. It's very cartoony. Yeah, I'll be back with another update. Also, my desk is like really far away right now. Everything is so organized over there. And like, I'm all the way over here. It's such a nice view. I love it. Sometimes I move my desk like over here and over there. Just enjoying it today. And I'll be back with the next update. Hi guys, welcome back to another update. So here is the doll so far. And look at the way I did the eyes. This is the first time doing eyes like this. It looks like she has eyeliner on her eyes, but her eyes are like thinner. So I decided to make like these little thin cornered looking eyes, hoping it gives off that shape. But it looks a lot like eyeliner, which is actually kind of cool. So I, I just want to play around with like different eye shapes. And yeah, this is like my fourth eye shape, I guess. Something different. So let's see if this works. I didn't want to give her the rounded eyelids just because it would make her look too innocent and too nice. <laughs> She's a people killing machine, so. All right, so I'm back with the next update. Here is the doll so far. And I attached on the arms and like, these are like the little details that she has on her doll arms. It's supposed to be like that little, I don't know, that circular thing that she has on her, her elbow. <laughs> It's kind of like this slit with this shape so that way the doll can like turn you know and it makes it easier for them to move around so i decided to add that little detail there and then i also gave her the straps i just chained it a little bit and then i tucked it in and i created the collars the rounded collars that's there gave her some ears and the coffee colored hair cap along with the pigtails which i'm about to do right now it's gonna be really simple i'm not gonna do any like extra hair strands at the top because it's too much work and i don't think it's necessary so yeah we're currently working on the placement of the pigtail so i just single crochet three strands of that and i'll be attaching it on to the back side really cool and also i made a couple of hair ties using amethyst yarn so this is what that looks like it looks like a little flower the middle part is where of course it's gonna go on the pigtail so yeah i made two of those and i will put them together to show you what they look like so yeah we'll be right back Okay, so now I'm starting on the next one. I'm going to be making one of the players. We're going to make player four, five, six. And here is the color that I'm choosing for their outfit. This is Crafter Secret Fabulous. <laughs> that name though. So I think this is the closest that we're going to get to color. A lot of people use green, but I'm using, I'm trying to make it accurate as possible. So this is the yarn that I have that's closest to it. Hopefully that matches. And I'm also using Artiste this um, white lace yarn. This is antique white. Here's Magnolia Waste Skin. I'm also using white yarn as well as black yarn. So yeah, I'll be back with the next update. Here's the first update on the legs. Start off with white shoes and then fabulous for the pants. And here are the couple pair of arms and I'll be adding on the white strip for the details later. And yeah, be back with the next update. Okay, here's another quick update. I just finished off the head. And I also gave him a mustache and I like a little tiny beard right there. Hopefully that doesn't look too weird. I don't really give my dolls any mustache or beards, but I wanted to make him look a little bit older because he is a slightly older man. Uh, I don't know about the beard part, but I do like the mustache there. It does give, you know, a bit of an older feel for the character, the doll, I guess. So far, I think I am okay with it. And now I'll be doing the rest of his body. Here's another super quick progress update. And I just pretty much did all the clothing, attached on all the limbs, side profile, added, you know, sewing on the white details, and then his arms are the same thing, and the jacket is made separately. The jacket is just basically a rectangle with like two holes for the arms. And I also sewed on number four, five, six right here with the thin white lace yarn. And on the inside, kind of cool right here, four, five, six sewed on with fabulous. And yeah, this is 
the update. The numbers took forever to sew on, by the way, but I think it looks really cool once you're able to do that. And then you just kind of close like this. So he has the main number on the outside of the jacket. So that way I can identify who it is without having to constantly open up his jacket. The hair cap, which is black, four inner rounds, four outer rounds. And I'll be starting on making his hair and be back with the next update. Here's a quick update on the hair. So I'm using a bunch of 10 chain strands to cover up the entire hair. And this is like the rest that I need to fill up his hair. Hopefully it looks like him. <laughs> Did I even talk about Squid Game anyways? Like who's your favorite character? Mine is Ali. He's such a nice guy. And it's so cool to see like a foreign guy, like a brown skin kind of person in a Korean drama. I think that's really awesome. But he overall, his character is really nice and sweet. <laughs> no spoilers or anything. Just wanted to talk about the characters, but I am making the main protagonist because obviously you, you gotta have the main protagonist so that's why i'm making him first and afterwards plan on making ali so i also made a couple more jackets over here his is 199 and then this one is going to be the girl 067 i believe is her number you know the girl that's like really popular and like everybody whoops and like everybody loves her and she's <laughs> they get so crazy over her <laughs> i think she's really cool too but ali is my favorite and yeah i watched the entire drama in one day so much of that was like processing in my head it was so much to take in <laughs> watching all nine episodes but it, it was pretty good I, yeah it's not like the most unique thing i've ever seen you know the concept of like people in a group where they have to like survive pretty much that's that's nothing new but i think it was still executed really well which is why i think it's worth the hype and i love the outfits it's nice it's unique it's something memorable and yeah overall a really good watch i don't know why you'd be watching this if you haven't seen the drama yet but yeah definitely go watch it <laughs> and i'll be back with the final update hi guys i'm back with a super quick final update and here is player 456 with his hair completed everything done hopefully you don't mind the little mustache and the little beard stubble thing whatever you want to call it that i made for him so here's the overall shape of his hair I try to add like little curls along the top part right here although it's barely visible so it doesn't really matter but yeah just his hair is really simple it just kind of like goes um flat down along the side and there's like some hair poking out below his head so around his neck area here's the back side very simple fill it up with 10 chains i decided to fill up most of the head with 10 chains instead of eight just to keep it simple and yeah that's about it for this doll and here is the killing machine <laughs> Red light, green light girl. And here is the little hair clip that I used lace yarn to make. Circle, the triangle, the square. Hopefully that looks good enough for overall look. Again, back side is just the hair cap and I attached on the strands to the very last ring, the last round of the hair cap and try to make it even as possible. So yeah, no, nothing too crazy with her, but I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I love the eyes, I love the hair clip, and those are pretty much my two favorite parts of this. Here I am making this doll, my 89th doll. This one's gonna be my 90th doll, this is my 91st doll. So yeah, these are pretty much all the dolls I have so far, and I will be back to make one more Squid Game doll progress vlog with Ali and player 067. By the time I post this, it's probably gonna be Halloween, so happy Halloween. I'm most likely gonna be spending my Halloween at my aunt's house this year in a donut costume, so <laughs> it's gonna be really fun, something to look forward to. And I haven't really been in the Halloween spirit because I've been so busy making these dolls like back to back. And now I get to finally look forward to relaxing for once. But yeah, really excited to finish off the rest of Squid Game. And November, we're just gonna like move on to like the dolls that I really wanted to get to before and have been delaying. So yeah, I'll be back with the next progress vlog in the next video. We're so close to 100 dolls. See you guys. Bye.